very good morning everyone this is sushant this is a very important video that i am making uh, on luma fusion crashing if your luma fusion is crashing many many times after upgrading to luma fusion 4.0 okay then this video is for you many of the users are complaining about that my luma fusion is crashing many times and they are very frustrated about it so I, that's why i decide to make the video on it in the video i will explain you why this is happening to so many devices and how to prevent luma fusion crashing from it okay there might be two reason why luma fusion is crashing first it could be a performance issue second it could be a space issue and third it could be a system problem so how to solve this system problem first we are going to see whether we are running on the latest ipad os go to settings and you can see system updates it is up to date to 16.4.1 right now and now get back to the luma fusion if your luma fusion is getting crashed while working on the timeline okay or while exporting the project it's getting crashed without any error so it might be a performance issue or it might be a space issue or it might be a junk issue means when we have lots of junk in the luma fusion system folder it might be a issue that's why it's getting crashed okay so what you can do you can do two settings first check your luma fusion update if it is up to date then no issue we will figure out what to do okay now first we have to do go to the setting and first we are going to fix the performance issue so what to do go to preference like this on the second tab and here in the user interface what you can see you can see a clip style option that is okay and you can tab on the no icon to reduce the ram uses by default it could be a normal see when i put to the normal you will see the thumbnails to the clip okay and when you tab on clip style normal to no icon it will remove the thumbnail like this you can save the graphic as well as the ram of your ipad okay now this is the first performance settings now i will show you the second performance setting that is go to preference and you will see the advanced setting in the advanced setting you will see preview select the fastest if it is best it might lag the preview window okay see when i try to play the project it could be lag or while working on the timeline while scrubbing on the timeline it could lag okay if i put to best so it is the best way that is you can put it to the fastest like this okay when you put to the fastest what will happen it will reduce the graphics and it will play smoothly and like this it will save lots of resources of your ipad and it will stop crashing while working on luma fusion okay let's talk about how to clean up ipad space and how to clean up luma fusion junk file okay first what we are going to do on your luma fusion go to settings and go to cleanup over here you will see cleanup setting cleanup unused cache media cleanup all cache media automatic cache cleanup setting and in the file information you will see imported media right now it is showing on my ipad it is 54 gb means 54.68 gb and in use reverse media that is 61 160 1 mb on automatic project backup it is 7.55 gb see if you are not going to clean up your ipad space for 90 days or one year it might be a issue because of the junk files it could crashing because your ipad is not getting enough space to perform the project okay i hope you understand this now first of all what you are going to do we are going to clean up the temporary files you can simply tab on this and it will clean up your ipad luma fusion cache files okay and here you can perform another settings that is clean up unused cache media means you have completed the project and 
you have uploaded the project everywhere you have sent the files to your client and it's still there on your ipad so in that case what you can do you can clean up the cache media like this and you can simply turn on all the settings and you can tab on clean selected locations okay so it will clean up all this thing and it will say clean up unused cache media you can tab on clean up and it will say okay and again you can go to settings and you can go to clean up and here you will find clean up cache media okay you can also perform this settings i have already done this setting you can perform this if you want to okay and it will remove lots of junk file from your luma fusion system folders okay that is the second main part how to clean up your luma fusion junk file now i will show you some of the more important settings how to clean up your luma fusion junk file inside luma fusion system folders okay for that go to system files sorry go to file manager and you can enter into luma fusion folder when you enter into luma fusion folder you will see different folders okay in that i will show you which are the important folders which will help you to clean up your ipad okay first folder is reverse media folder tab on this reverse media over here you will see plenty of reverse media projects means files video files if you are not using it simply delete this okay this is the main folder reverse media folder okay and now you have to enter into user and media folder this is very important folder of luma fusion over here you will see all the project files means a uh, video file audio file text file each and everything okay and in that i will show you first important folder that is other apps tab on this other apps what you will see when you import anything means folder uh, sorry a uh, uh, video file audio file or any type of images from the others app okay it will save over here into the other app folder if you are not using it you can clean up okay and it will save lots of space from your ipad i hope you understand this other apps folder okay go back now now i will show you one more important folder that is shared folder go to this shared folder and over here you will see lots of different video projects and audio and text uh, sorry uh, images okay you can see i have lots of different different folders and images music movies simply you can delete if you are not using it for past 90 days or for past one year it will save tons of space on your ipad okay and it will help luma fusion to perform better when exporting trust me it works 100 percent okay now i will talk about the last part how to clean up your ipad space it is very easy and simple use your samsung t5 hard drive okay to take the backup or you can use any hard drives sandys or any backup drive you can go to photos and you can clean up you can first take the backup and after that you can clean up your ipad and same you can do this on your file manager go to file manager and go to downloads if you see lots of junk that is there in your download folder you can clean up that or you can go to on my ipad if you see a junk folder that you are not going to use it or it is there for past one year or two year you can simply delete this or you can take the backup on your samsung drive okay and i will give you one more pro tip on how to save ipad space that you can export luma fusion project to the external hard drive okay and simply delete the project that you are not using for last 90 days or for one year okay just tab on export and you can use luma fusion package project package like this and it will export into your desired location and you can transfer the exported project on your hard drive okay attempt all these settings whatever i've shown to you 
in this video and your luma fusion will stop crashing from it trust me it works for me because it is also happening to me and i was very frustrated why this is happening and and i did all the setting now my luma fusion is not crashing even i make 30 minutes or one minute video sorry uh, one hour video okay so this is all about luma fusion troubleshooting i hope you found this video helpful how to clean up your luma fusion junk file and how to clean up your ipad so it will not crash as it crashing right now okay i hope you found this video helpful then give a big thumbs up share with your friends see you very soon in the brand new video till then take care stay safe bye bye